As the son of three parents who served in the military, Veterans Day is certainly not lost on me. But for those who are not quite sure, here's a brief history lesson. Veterans Day actually became a national observance in 1926, but at that time was known as Armistice Day, commemorating Germany's surrender of World War I on November 11, 1918 at 11 a.m. Yes, the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month. Congress changed the name to Veterans Day in 1954 to honor not only U.S. veterans of World War I, but also veterans of World War II, which ended in 1945. The day, of course, now honors any U.S. military veteran and not just those who have fought in war. It is separate from the Memorial Day holiday in May, which honors those who died in military service. The United States has about 17.4 million veterans, according to the U.S. Census data, just more than half were 65 years old or older in 2019. The U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs estimates that nearly 42 million Americans have fought in wars from the American Revolution in 1775, the Desert Storm in 1991. Another 3.3 million veterans have served since the terror attacks against the U.S. on September 11, 2001. Now, in a typical year, of course, it's marked by ceremonies, military bands, and parades across the country. However, this year, because of the coronavirus pandemic, many events have been canceled and others have been scaled back or switched to virtual formats. The National Veterans Day observance at Arlington National Ceremony was not open to the public this year, but was live-streamed from the Tomb of the Unknowns, which honors U.S. service members killed in battle whose remains have not been identified. Virtual ceremonies also took place at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. and the New Jersey Vietnam Veterans Memorial. For those of you who have served our country, thank you. Your efforts will never be left unnoticed. For New Jersey News Network, I'm Phil Andrews. Happy Veterans Day.